Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. Now for years, people have asked us if they can use our DYC products to change the color of their tires, specifically the lettering on the tire sidewall. And we've told them for years, unfortunately, you can't use our DYC products, but after so many requests, we finally carry something that you can use, and it's these tire ink pens. Now, we're gonna use them for you today. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it step by step. Enjoy the video. All right, guys, we're going to be working on the hand-cooked tires here on our 2004 uh, Subaru STI, and I'm sure these tire pens work on just about any tire. Now, what we need for the project is you need some acetone, which is what you're going to use to clean the tire. You can get that at just about any hardware store, microfiber towel, and your tire ink pen. I think they come in about four different colors. We're using white on this video. Now, this will be an interesting experiment for me because normally when I'm showing you guys how to do something, whether it's dipping wheels or dipping our whole car, I'm very experienced in that process. But this is the very first time I'm picking up one of these tire ink pens. So in this video, you're going to see exactly what to expect from a first time user because to be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing. Now, when you're picking out what you're actually going to color in, I've heard that it's a lot easier if the letters are actually raised up off the tire and have a border on them. So on this tire, we've got some V12s here, and then it said Ventus Evo on both sides. Those are raised up off the surface of the uh, tire wall. So we're going to focus on those on both sides and see how it goes. So first things first is we're going to clean off the letters that we're going to work on with the acetone. I'm going to use a microfiber rag for that. And these letters here and here are just raised up and they're smooth. But the V12 have some vertical grooves in it. So we want to make sure we clean in the direction of those grooves to make sure there's no tire shine or anything else on there. Now I think the V12 with the border around it may be a little bit easier than the raised letter. So we're going to go with that first. Next we're going to shake up the tire pen really well. And then it says it's very important to prime the pen. And with that, you want to press it up against a hard surface until the ink starts flowing through. Let's see. Okay. Got some ink flowing through there. Now, I'm going to take my time and just slowly start to color in this V12. Now I'm going to have to kind of go with the grain of those vertical lines. Now this is a permanent application, but it can be dissolved with acetone again. So if you screw up, you're not stuck with it forever. You're supposed to do two or three coats. So I'm not going to try and go for full coverage on this first one. Every once in a while, I'm going to press the tip of the pen down on something hard, keep that ink flowing. Okay. Gonna move one at a time. Now that I think about it, I think the letters here with the vertical lines, even with the border, may be a little bit more difficult because I have to go and get that ink inside each one of those grooves. Keep priming it. Again, don't try and get full coverage, especially with the color white on the first coat. Always go back and add more. I'm finding that a lighter touch is actually more effective. Okay. That'll do it for the first coat on the V12. Now for these, it should be a little bit easier in the sense that it doesn't have those vertical lines kind of trying to direct where the ink goes, but it also doesn't have that raised up edge keeping me within the line. So this may be just as challenging. Oh no, this is way easier.
very light touches and you can kind of just let the ink ride that edge a little bit. Again, doesn't have to be perfect on your first go. But yeah, that's definitely easier. Don't forget to prime it every once in a while. If you keep it primed, you can just kind of paint it on very lightly. Now remember, these pens come in several different colors. I think it's white, red, green, and yellow, and I don't know if the coverage is different for each one. But two or three coats per color should do it. It's okay if you go outside of the lines a little bit. Just keep going through all three coats because you can always probably grab a little bit of acetone on, on like a Q-tip, for example, and come back and clean up your edges a little. Okay, not bad for the first coat. I'm gonna finish this off here, come in and drop another two coats and try and finish the project. Guys, the project is complete. That tire is dry, and I gotta say, these things work pretty damn well. I got full, solid white coverage after just three coats, and a tip here, very important to make sure that your previous coat is fully dry before you do your next coat. I waited about 25 minutes in between coats to make sure. If the previous coat isn't fully dry, when you go to put the next coat on top, it'll kind of smear around a little bit. You want the previous one fully dry so the next coat stacks on top and you get that solid, even coverage. Now remember, these come in four different colors. If you want to use these tiring pens, super simple. Just click right up here. It'll bring you to the product. I think you're going to need two to three pens per set of four tires, of course, depending on how much lettering you actually want to do on your own specific tires, but use your own creativity. If this is a project you want to do and it does look really cool on certain cars, this is definitely the best way to do it. It's Fonzie. If you have any questions at all, email customer service at dipyourcar.com, chat with us directly on the website or call in. We love to talk to you guys about your projects. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.